In today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down a solid route combination that you can use to beat man-to-man -man coverage in Madden NFL 21. It can also help you beat zone. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is designed to help you improve your game, take your game to the next level through tips, through strategies, through scheme breakdowns, X's and O's of the game. That's what we do here. So if you're interested in taking your game to the next level, what I want to encourage you to do is to go ahead and join my community Discord. My Discord is the best place to get your questions answered. It's also the best place just to talk Madden in general. We've got a lot of really good players over there. Players are even better than I am. Uh, and so if you want to really take your game to the next level, I want to encourage you to jump in that Discord. Now today what we're doing is we're taking a look at this shotgun trips package here and there's a specific route that I want to show you and it's called the, it's the play called sail um, it's also you can find it out of the play fade stop so these are two of the best routes in Madden 21 and I want to explain why um, because of their angles and because of their the, the way the routes will work they're basically what's called an over route meaning they're 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 going to I don't know the exact terminology off the top of my head here but they are going to run over over the, the zones, over the defense. And so it's going to help you a lot um, with your uh, with your plays in Madden 21. So uh, first and foremost is if you have a stud receiver, like the Bucks have Mike Evans, if you have a good receiver in Mutt, this is going to be a money route no matter what. But he's going to get this inside position right here. Once he gets in his inside position, you're just going to pass lead to the inside. Now let me show you really quick. There are certain things that you can do this year with shading your coverage out of man to make it more effective. One of the things you can do is you can shade it to the inside and you'll see here shaded underneath into the inside. You see Mike Evans is gonna completely roast the defender because he's got really good beat the press rating. So if you have a receiver that has good beat the press rating, this route truly is gonna become unguardable. Now I do wanna show this because I have uh, gotten some feedback that people wanna see you do it with less receivers. So we're gonna show you with Scotty Miller here on the right side. This is Stephon Gilmore. And actually all we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the play because I'm gonna take Mike Evans out of it for the rest of the video. I just wanted to show you that if you have a stud receiver, Make sure you put them on that route. It's going to help it even work even better than it already does. Um, it does work with bad receivers, though. So, uh, Stephon Gilmore is the best corner in head-to-head -head, uh, by far. Uh, he's got that one-step-ahead ability. It's going to allow him to just basically lock you down in man-to-man -man coverage. So, um, Scotty Miller here, this route. Um, you see here, if he gets this press animation right here, you see that um, Stephon Gilmore is going to win. Now, that's, that is very, very um, inconsistent. Inconsistent would be the right word. Um, now, if they do get that press animation right there, what you'll see here, see here, once he get, if he gets that inside position, it's going to be a dot against press man. I do want to show you, though, and this is why the route is so good. Most people, when they're running this man to man coverage scheme, because they don't want to get beat over the top, they're going to shade outside and they're going to shade over the top coverage. What that's going to allow is it's going to allow this route from Scotty Miller to get open every single time. You see here, he's going to have that inside position. He cuts to the inside, and you're going to easily be able to pass lead that inside, click on, and possession catch it against the man-to-man -man coverage. This route is killer against zone. It's even it's, it's even better than it is against man when you go into zone. But we're going to show you this one more time. This is very consistent. Scotty Miller gets right in here, throw it inside, and you've got a dot. No, they're going to want to user it. So one of the things that I personally like to do is I like to take Gronk and either put him on a crossing route, a drag, um, or a smart routed hitch route. I love smart routed hitch routes this year. These curls, I'm telling you right now, if you're not running curls in Madden 21, you're doing it wrong. Uh, curls are so effective this year. Um, but you'll see here, here's the shade coverage outside, shade coverage over top. Uh, and if they, for some reason, are using, you can check down to these low ball, uh, low ball hitches against that over top coverage. Now, if they take the safeties away, let me just show you really quickly. Let's say they take the safeties away. Well, you have that stock fade to Mike Evans. Now, this is best ran with the trips on the wide side of the field, but you can run the trips on the short side of the field. It's not that big of a deal, but if you want it to be the best and optimal, you do want to run your trips to the wide side of the field. Anyway, here you're going to see he's going to get over the top of this man-to-man -man because he's on a stock fade. You're going to be able to click on, and you're going to be able to uh, swerve him inside and outside to be able to do that. That's why people shade coverage over top. So if they do press you, I do want you to know. Now, press cover to man to me does the best against this. Um, that's just my opinion. If they're just going to straight up press you and run cover to man, that does the best. But you're still going to have these low ball routes. Um, and you see here, you're still going to be able to beat it. Ah, just missed the catch there. But you're still going to be able to consistently beat this, this these, uh, these uh, defenses that you're going to face. And the beautiful part about everything that we're doing here is if you take Mike Evans and motion him to the right, what you're going to see is this is going to turn this route right up 
and this is a streak against cover two. You see the over route, pass lead that to the left, click on, you're gonna be able to get that with Scotty Miller. Now, I do wanna show you that, so press man gives us the most amount of issue, and if you're struggling with press man, what I wanna encourage, like press man from two man under, because they're gonna have the safeties over top to help, um, run these quick, quick slant routes. Quick slant routes with a low ball, they work just fine. Uh, I love slants. Slants this year are um, almost as important as hooks, and might even be a little bit more important than drag routes. Uh, drag routes are typically the most important route every year, but this year more than any other year, you really do need slants to beat man. So if, you, if they're running an all out press coverage, to cover two man press scheme, you see here, it's really gonna revolve around your receiver's ability to beat the press, um, to get out of there. Now, one thing you can do to help them with that is I can take Godwin right here and I can put him on a little motion. Uh, I can slant him. And I can put him on a little motion snap. That's going to get him unbumpable, and he's going to beat man to the inside, as you can see right here. Now, the thing that makes this route so powerful, in my opinion, is what it does against zone. Obviously, it does good against man, which is you need that. You need that this year. But it does really, really good against zone, too. This route, this little sail route right here, um, click on. Ah, I got held up. Got held up by that, uh, that linebacker over there. But you'll see here, if we go just standard cover three sky, um, but you'll see here Scotty Miller motions him in click on you see he's gonna get that inside position every single time against zone There's no zone in the game that is going to drop to that depth in fact um, Unless they drop their hooks, okay, unless they drop their hooks if they drop their hook zones to like 20 plus yards Obviously, it's gonna leave the middle underneath wide open. You're gonna be able to hit that route to Godwin um, That was covered to sink and Stefan Gilmore actually hung with him pretty well on that Let's look at that one more time here. So cover two sink. We're gonna drop the mill zones. And there you see, there's the inside break. Now you see the cover two sink will hang back with it. It's because I've got those zones shaded so deep. So what's gonna happen though, and this is what I love about this route, is it's a multi-window route. It's gonna go all the way across the field. So you're actually gonna be able to hit these uh, low balls right here to good one very, very consistently against the cover two defense. Also against cover two, I do want to point this out. Also against cover two, this stock fade to Mike Evans is absolutely going to torch it. Just pass lead that to the left, click on. Let's see here, one sec. Cover two sink. And you're just going to pass lead this to the left side, right there, click on. Now you see they are matching Mike Evans. This is why the sale concept is so good. So if they if they run with Mike Evans, you're gonna have this route to Gronk wide open right there. Very easy bullet pass, okay? This is with a standard sale concept from the air raid. Now, what they're gonna do is they're gonna put these corners, I promise you, they're gonna put these corners in cloud flats. That's what they're gonna do because they're gonna need to. They're gonna run Tampa 2. When they run Tampa 2, um, that's when this route's really going to shine uh, to Scotty Miller. You're going to get you're going to get really really good separation um, against a cover two cloud flat. But with this, when the cover two soft spot zone, when he follows Scotty Miller like this one is doing, um, it does make it a little bit more of an issue. But as you see here, with the cover two sink, you're going to be able to easily hit that Gronk route. That Gronk route is delayed enough that it's very very easy uh, to hit that. But here's cover two. And there you see there's Scotty Miller. Rose, he gets over the over the top of the yellows, and then what's going to happen is he's going to come underneath the, the deep blue zones. You'll see that in this example here. This is uh, cover three. I absolutely love these over routes uh, against cover three this year. Uh, for some reason, we're keep getting, we keep getting um, bottled up a little bit by that corner, which won't happen because they're going to be playing press. To, they're going to be, you're going to see, they're going to do something like this. Now, this is the defense you're going to face. So just because the alignment's been a little bit of an issue here. But he's going to get over the defense right here. Click on. And you're going to be able to swerve catch that inside and be able to get that and get down. Now, the way this plays from a play like fade stops. Well, you see here, I've got Gronk on the over out now. Now, against man-to-man, -man, um, this is when he comes to the inside, he's going to get that inside position. But it's not as it's not as consistent as the sail route. But what's really powerful about fade stops is if they're running a lot of zone, uh, specifically if they're running a lot of cover three, um, all you have to do is you're going to pop Scotty Miller on a deep out, and you see here Gronk's going to beat it over the top for a one-play touchdown as long as Tom Brady can get him the ball. But this sail route really, truly, um, 
this little um this little route to uh, these little angled uh, post routes are really really good this year. Um, they're really really good because they get inside leverage, they get inside positioning, they do a really good job against a lot of what people are going to do. Now you're not going to see, you know, I think cover three is actually going to be making a step, a run back at people. A lot of people are going to be running cover cover four. But you see here, it's a one-play touchdown right over the top every single time. Fade stops, money play. I uh, talked about it early on in Madden. What you're going to be able to do with this, though, is because you're going to start running this uh, trips, you have the post on both sides. So you can run it um, right here, and you see you're going to be able to click on and swerve catch that to the inside against man on fade stops. Now against cover two, uh, what I love about fade stops is if you take a look here, See how it's a multi-window route? You can basically just pass lead it right through the zone. Those those over route, sail route, those, those kind of route combinations this year are so effective, especially for beating um, beating a lot of what the defenses are going to do to you. Um, you'll see here with fade stops. Again, this is a very simple concept, but you'll see kind of come right over here, click on. You're gonna be able to get that down. And that's a later read. But let me show you uh, what this does to man to man. And again, this is this is just a concept, right? This is just over routes, like sale routes like that. Um, this is what this route does. If they basically if they don't win the press animation, they're screwed. If they don't win the press animation, they are screwed this year. This route truly is one of my favorite routes in the entire game. Um, it's taken me a little bit of time to be able to understand exactly how to run this trips formation. But this trips formation is amazing. There you see it against cover two. Scotty Miller getting over the top. You wanna to make sure to possess and catch. Because that secure catch this year is definitely the way to go. You don't really wanna do any, I, I personally just love uh, secure catch. But right here, right when he gets over that over that uh, zone, threw it a little bit early there, but let me show you. Um, let me show you with cover two sync. So you see, he's gonna come up, he's gonna get right over the zone, right in that pocket right there, and that's a dot against cover two. So this play right here really forces the defense, they're gonna to have to play backed off coverage. Now, what I love about this is if you take your running back, and I actually really like to do this, if I just put my running back on an in route, that's all I gotta do, just put my running back on an in route. Remember, pressure's not that big of a deal this year. You don't have to block your running back a lot to pick up a lot of the best pressures in the game. If you just put your running back on this little basic in route right here, it's gonna open up everything else for your offense because if they start dropping people back, dropping people back, dropping people back, what that's gonna do is it's gonna open up these underneath zones for your offense. You're gonna see right here, again, this little back right here, and see how it opens that up even more? Just that little bitty, that little bitty movement from the back is gonna open up windows to throw this. I actually really like putting the running back on curls this year. Um, some people don't, but you can lowball this curl against man-to-man -man very, very consistently. It's a nice little five-yard route. So, anyways, guys, that is the gun trips sale concept. Uh, wanted to break that down for you. A little Madden 21 route combination is going to help you beat man-to-man. -man. If you guys are looking to take your game to the next level, again, I want to encourage you to jump into my channel Discord. also want to encourage you, if you haven't already, to make sure to... Um, to make sure to jump on one of my live streams. We live stream every single night at 10 o'clock Eastern time. So you wanna be stayed tuned to the channel so that you can get access to those videos. The best way to get access is to jump into the Discord. Thanks guys, we'll see you guys later.